of LS. Hope you're all happy, healthy, and of course wealthy. Uh, this is Solutions with another IoT tutorial. Uh, in this video, we are designing uh, a temperature uh, sensor circuit. Uh, just log into your Tinkercad account and create a new circuit. We are simulating in a virtual environment here and uh, just exactly you can follow these steps in the real world and the components that we are using here you can provide in the real world and you can follow these steps uh, it will work the same okay I can give a name let's say temperature sensor the first thing you need is an Arduino board our blank board and then we need the sensor to add on it temperature sensor I connect the sensor okay so as in the as uh, the input we are using the temperature sensor so this is the sensor and the output uh, you can connect it in the real world you can connect it to the, the air condition for example it's sensing the air condition the temperature if the temperature is high the air condition should be turned on automatically uh, if the uh, if the temperature is low so the air condition should uh, automatically turn on or turn off and control the temperature inside the room and uh, here for the output we can use uh, maybe LED or RGB light, RGB bulb. Okay, put it here. And I connect this one. We have red, we have blue, we have green. Three colors and this one is a cathode. Cathode, of course, we connect this one to the ground. And I change the color to black. And the read, I connect this one to 11. This RGB light, we need a uh, we need transist uh, resistor as well because the high voltage is not good for RGB light. Red, red, and the blue. I can connect this one to eleven or to ten. How it will work? In here, the temperature sensor is sensing the detecting the temperature inside the room. Let's say if the temperature is high, uh, let's say higher than 40 or 50 degrees the light the RGB light should be red and if that is uh, between uh, 20 to 20 to let's say uh, 50, 40 degrees it can be yellow and if that is below 10 or 15 it should be blue so this is an automation system we have designed now let's go to coding Uh, we don't need actually to code just we can use blocks here when we are using the blocks if we drag and drop the blocks the code will be generated automatically okay so the coding let's begin uh, let me start with the command here temperature sensor temperature sensor And we have here the input, the output for the RGB light. Here it is. And the red one is connected to pin uh, 11. The blue one is connected to pin 10. And the green one is connected to pin 9. Okay, so let's say by default the color should be black, uh, the color should be green. 
and now we are creating a variable to store data from this uh, sensor the name of the variable can be variable temperature sensor that is great and I just okay I just set the value for the our variable the value can be from the temperature sensor which is connected to analog A0 and it should be in Celsius now we're using the F conditions to control so we have three different colors we are using and we need three F conditions one two and three okay we need a uh, some operators here here and here so we have the variable this is our variable is uh, the temperature is higher than 50 degrees then what then the output should be the RGB pen 11 pen 10 and pen 9 the color should be red and this one and this one if the temperature is uh, higher than 30 The color should be orange or pink. If the, temp the temperature is below 10 degrees, then the color should be white or let's say light blue. Okay, let's have a review. We have a temperature sensor here and we have programmed that one that if the temperature is higher than 50 degrees then the RGB bulb should be red. If that is higher than 30 degrees it should be orange and if that is below 10 it should be light blue. If you want to check the codes you can check the codes here. We drag and drop the blocks and the codes are being generated automatically. Okay, so let's start the simulation. The colors are not that accurate. Okay, so let's check it. Uh, the temperature is below. Okay, this is minus and the color is light blue. If that is uh, yeah, less than 30, that is pink, purple. So the colors are not that accurate. I selected orange, I guess. And if that is high, it should be red. One is, uh, if the temperature is high, it should be red. Actually, this one is purple, light purple, and this one is, I can say, dark purple. Okay, you can change the colors. You can use it in different places, inside the room, inside the, and you can connect it to the air condition so the air, con the air condition will be automatically functioning based on the temperature inside the room okay that's all thank you very much and have a good day Audio